Let's look at the image shadow box template at SharePointDashboards.com. This is a template that allows you to have an effect where when you're using an image column in SharePoint Online, you can make it so that when you hover over the image, it's going to show you a larger picture of that image. Um, so it makes things a lot more user friendly. This works with the image column in SharePoint. So when you're in your SharePoint list, when you create a new column, there is a newer option to have an image column, which allows you to upload images directly from your computer to a SharePoint list. Note that this is different than the hyperlink column, which has been around for a long time. So do be sure when you create your field, you select an image field and you can work with that. So when I click on this image with the default setup, it'll just click open a new tab and show me the image. But as I say, I want the hover effect. Now, when you first arrive at this template screen, you can browse, there's some different options. What it's showing you in the preview is the thumbnail that's going to appear in the column, the appearance of that, and then what it looks like in the hover image that pops up when you do that. And in fact, it doesn't necessarily have to be hover. You could have it be on click um, instead, but generally hover is the preferred effect. You can decide which direct direction you want the image to pop up on. So it could be to the right or bottom. Um, we're going to stick with some default settings for this initially. So there's really very little you have to configure. You can control the size of the box as well. So, you know, maybe I want to have a very large box. I can adjust these sliders um, to get whichever size I want. So um, again, I'm just going to stick with the default settings for this initially and we'll take a look and see what that's like. Click on the copy template button and then follow the directions in the pop-up window and then you can come over to your SharePoint site, go to your image column and click on the column header, go to column settings, then format this column and then paste in the code from your clipboard and save. Okay, so now that I've done that, when I hover over these images, it shows me a large image preview. And then I can click on that to still get to the um, image that's stored in SharePoint. Um, so it's gonna do that automatically. Now you can make some tweaks or adjustments to that, maybe you want a slightly different size, so I can um, go with different options for that. So here's a case where I have a uh, smaller one. Um, I could try that and just paste in my code and um, compare until you, you know, get the look that you want. So I'm going to paste that in and you can see the thumbnails a little smaller and then the pop up window is a little smaller too. So you can fine tune that. You can control the border color that's around the image. Um, and then, as I say, you can change the um, direction that that card appears. You could make it appear below if you wanted to have different sizes, that type of thing. Um, so lots of uh, options to tweak it and adjust it to get the look that you want. This is a Pro template. It's part of a subscription package which includes all of the templates at SharePoint Dashboards. If you are new to SharePoint Dashboards, you can sign up for a free account which includes 20 free templates. And if you like that and want to go on and have access to all of the templates, including this one, um, you can sign up for the monthly subscription. I hope that helps and I hope you can use this to improve the appearance of your SharePoint dashboards and especially better make use of the image field to have a user-friendly interface. Good luck.